and we're live. Welcome to 102. Yep, so, what that's, up? That's Zach. I don't, I don't know which order we are in on each other's screens, and that's Big Daddy, a.k.a. Pearson. <laughs> or Pearson, a.k.a. Big Daddy. Pearson, a.k.a. Big Daddy. Okay, okay, okay. We got I'm Jay. in the middle on my screen. Zach in the middle. Okay. Yeah, Zach's in the middle. Are, of yeah, you're in the middle of mine, too. Word. Bet. So we got a pretty dope-ass epi um, today. We're going to do uh, a comedy bracket. Bracket we haven't done before. We've talked about it in the past, but we are going to try one out today. We're going to talk about a bunch of music, a few singles that came out over the past week or so. Uh, we're going to talk about the new episode of Dave, episode six. Pearson and I, unless Zach has as well, um, wa have watched in its entirety Ozark season three. Nope. Okay. Me and Pearson will talk it. Um, we will give mild spoilers, though. Uh, okay, Zach, are you watching it? Or are you a fan of Ozark? I've watched like halfway through season one. Okay. So no. So no. <laughs> um, and we'll talk about uh, what we're watching in quarantine and a bunch of other miscellaneous stuff. Uh, this is also on YouTube. The second episode to be on YouTube. Ha ha. Pew, 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 pew. Um, with that being said, uh, Benji, can you remotely drop that beat for me, please? Can apologies. You that's one free. Drop this that. It might beat. be loud. And if it is, apologies. And if it isn't, well, you did the right thing, Benji. Drop it, please. Can you guys hear it? Nope. So it's going through my AirPods, which is probably not the move. So they probably can't hear it. <laughs> That's okay. Screw it. I'm going to dance either way. In case it does pick up. And if it doesn't, then I just look like an idiot. Yep. And we're back. Oh, God. iTunes was about to autoplay ASMR by 21 Savage. Oh. We don't need that. Um, a, B, C, D, E, F, G, Wagon. But here we are. We are all up in episode 102 remotely. Check us out. Look what we're doing. We're recording remotely. Feels like you guys are with me right now. We're with you in spirit. Yeah. Well, we will do this as long as we have to. Hopefully things clear up soon. Probably not, but whatever. We found a good solution. Um, a couple of uh, podcasts that I listened to, I reached out to them and asked them what their solution for mobile recording was, and they recommended this service. So here we are, and uh, let's get rolling into it. Let's start it out with some quickies. Um so I wanted to start off by updating the world or the bingers of all of the movies that have been postponed um, or canceled due to the virus outbreak. Um, I have a, a list here, quite a few. Um, so let's just roll through them. I don't know if much discussion will come out of this, but this is a run through of uh, 35-ish movies that have been postponed due to the coronavirus. Um, first up, we got Fast and Furious 9. That got pushed back an entire year. Thoughts? That's yeah. that's a long time. It probably sucked. And so they're like, man, this is a great time to reshoot. I heard that. I also heard like, oh shit, the movie's not done yet. Yeah. So we might we get this time to yeah. finish it up. Um so that's, that's the most that's, likely that's, scenario. Yeah, you're probably right. The The new release date um, is April 2021, uh, which is freaking far from now. Uh, a whole year. How about that? That ain't it. Um, no Time to Die, delayed until November 2020. Uh, November 25th, 2020, uh, more specifically. That's basically December. We got to wait a whole half a year to see this movie yet. And we would have seen it pretty sure this week. Yeah. Yeah. This week, this Friday, we would have seen it. Um, which just sucks, but Hey, uh, I was really looking forward to that one. Yeah. Yeah. I was too. As was, I think the entire world, I think people would have still come out to see that one. Oh yeah. But 
not only that, I think No Time to Die was the first movie that got like pushed back, and that's what sparked the other movies to start pushing back. Yeah, I think it um, was like the first one. Yeah, uh, Mulan would have come out. We would have seen it by now. Uh, its new release date is July 24th of this year. Uh, A Quiet Place Part 2 will now release September 4th, 2020. We would have seen this by now as well. Uh, the Lovebirds, the comedy with Kamel Nanjiani and Issa Rae. Did you guys see the preview for this? No. It doesn't look that good. I'm not that upset about it. Um, it was supposed to come out last Friday, um, but no new release date has been given. I'm thinking it's going to go straight to a streaming service because it didn't look like it was going to do that that well. The New Mutants uh, was supposed to also come out last Friday. We would have seen this. Um, the studio is said to be looking at a potential 2020 release date to be announced at a later date. Um, I'm thinking this might go straight to a streaming service. This movie's been delayed four times now. You need to go straight? Really? I think so. I think they might just bite the bullet and put it on maybe Hulu or or Disney Plus. Who knows? Uh, Disney owns both, so we'll see. Uh, Disney also owns Antlers because it absorbed with Fox. Um, so Antlers, the horror movie, was supposed to come out April 17th. No new date has been given for this one either. Um, Blue Story, don't really know what this one is about. Uh, it's supposed to be, it centers on two London youths whose lives are scarred by gang warfare. Okay. The film is supposed to be released March 20th and no new date has been set yet. Black Widow and the MCU. So this is the big one, the big, big, big daddy. So uh, the film now has a November 6th release date. Um, that was supposed to be the Eternals release date. Um, so now all the Marvel movies are being bumped. Eternals now moves to February 12th, 2021. Oh my um, God. Shang-Chi gets May 7th, 2021. Um, oh, so each pushback was the previous movie's release date. Yeah. So, so February 12th was supposed to be Shang-Chi. Shang-Chi gets May 7th, 2021, which was supposed to be Doctor Strange 2. Doctor Strange 2 moves to November 5th, 2021, which was supposed to be Thor 3, um, th or sorry, Thor 4. Thor 4 now is February 18th, 2022, which was held for an unnamed Marvel movie. Not decided yet. Um, Michael back now on everything. Yeah. Meanwhile, Black Panther 2 still has its May 8th, 2022 and Captain Marvel 2 got its release date announced of July 8th, 2022. Um, previously, that release date was slotted for a TV deter to be determined title. So there's the MCU basically pushed, pushed back six months, essentially, yeah. on each movie, which kind of sucks, but whatever. Spiral. The Saw franchise reboot that stars Chris Rock and Sam Jackson. The trailer makes this movie look really good. I don't know if you guys ever saw the preview for it, but uh, I don't think so. But it, it looks really good. Chris Rock is the lead, and it's and he looks like he does a pretty good job. Um, not uh, not a new date has been announced for this one either. Um, yeah, unfortunate. The SpongeBob movie, Sponge on the Run, has moved from May twenty second to July thirty first. Not a huge bump there. Antebellum horror movie was supposed to come out April 24th, but Lionsgate uh, has not announced a new release date yet. Minions, The Rise of Gru. Um, there's a paragraph with this one. Oh, they have not announced a new date. Trolls World Tour uh, is actually now available on demand and on iTunes uh, April 10th, whenever that is, next or in a few days from now. On Friday. So, yes, that one moved straight to um, people buying it. Wonder Woman 1984 went from June 5th to August 14th. Uh, that sucks. That was going to be another good one. Top Gun Maverick 
It was supposed to be June 24th, but now we'll hit theaters December 23rd. Mm. In the Heights, the musical, which I did not care to see, uh, does not have a new release date. It was supposed to come out June 26th. Scoob, the uh, animated Scooby-Doo movie, uh, was supposed to come out May 15th and does not have a new release date. Um, Greyhound, some movie with Tom Hanks where he's in World War II. I hadn't seen a trailer for this one before. Um, it got postponed to January 15th, 2021. It was supposed to come out 2020, sorry, October 23rd of this year. Ghostbusters was supposed to hit theaters in July, but has been moved all the way up till March 2021. Damn. Yeah, almost a full year. Morbius got set for March 19th, 2021. Jesus Christ, bro. It was supposed to come out J July 31st. I was Uncharted. excited for that one, too. I was, too, man. I'm, I was really excited for that one. Uh, Uncharted uh, was supposed to come out... March 5th, 2021, and now has been pushed back to October 8th, 2021. <sighs> Untitled Sony Marvel film. We're not sure what this mystery project is. Spider-Man 3, Venom 3, Morbius 2, whatever it was. It went from October 8th, 2021 to unplanned release date at this time. And really, a really big one, guys. This one hurts. Peter Rabbit 2. Run away. Um, it was supposed to come out canceled completely. Yeah. Oh, it, it's coming out August seventh. That was supposed to come out last week. Is it going streaming straight? Hmm. Is it is it going to theaters or is it coming to streaming? It says here it's going to theaters. Ooh, another one I was looking forward oh, to. Candyman. Oh yeah, I forgot about Candyman. Was, it was supposed to come out in July, but it's now coming out September 25th. God. Man, if, if the theaters open back up, like this fall is going to be absolutely stacked. Yeah, but what are we going to do this summer? Shh, sit at our fucking houses. Watch more old movies, I guess. Oh, Artemis Fowl was supposed to come out uh, May 29th, 2020, and now has just been canceled completely and moved to Disney+. Plus. That's I, th I think I saw that one. Ooh, Jungle Cruise. I didn't know this one was up in it. Uh, 2020, or, July 24th, 2020 was the initial release date. Has been bumped a fucking full year, sorry, to July 30th, 2021. Indiana Jones 5 uh, was supposed to come out July 9th, 2021, and now has been bumped to July 29th. 2022. Free Guy, the Ryan Reynolds video, video game comedy, was supposed to come out July 3rd, but is now coming out December 11th. The Woman in the Window, starring Amy Adams and Gary Oldman. You guys have seen the preview for this one, right? It's the one where she thinks like there's a psycho living across from her or something. Yeah. Uh, supposed to come out May 15th. Based on Currently, a video, I think. Yeah. Currently undated. No new release date for that one. And that does it. Sad. Sad, really. How long has this been going? Oh, okay, cool. Next up, we've got... That wasn't really a quickie, but I'm sorry. <laughs> not a quickie at all. Um... Next up, Netflix is releasing a bonus Tiger King episode. Um, oh. They are filming it or have already filmed it. Okay, it says, this is an article from The Vulture to credit them. Um, Tiger King will be reportedly releasing a new episode to tie up all of the divisive loose ends. The intel comes from Tiger King star Jeff Lau, a zoo owner and noted swinger. Okay. Thanks for that information. Uh, Netflix is adding one more episode, quote from him. It will be on next week. They're, they're filming it here tomorrow. The bonus episodes format has not been clarified. Um, it's supposed to be maybe a little reunion. 
So yeah. a where are they now essentially type thing. Please interview Joe from prison. That would be electric. Yeah, they, uh, what am I on? They released one of his interviews from prison the other day. Yeah. He's apparently upset that white people can't say the N-word. <laughs> That's one of his opinions. He says, why do all these rappers get to do it? But I can't. Are we surprised that that's something Joe Exotic said? <laughs> so I can't wait. I mean, I, I want more Tiger King. Hell, I'd watch a whole reality show like based off these guys. They're making a, they're making a Netflix show about it. Mm -hmm. HBO is offering over 500 hours of free programming because of everybody trapped inside. Perfect time for you guys to watch Outsider. Oh, yeah. With millions of people staying, this is from KGW8.com. With millions of people staying at home, HBO has announced that the premium channel is making almost 500 hours of programming available for free uh, April 3rd. Hello? Yeah, you froze. Did, we, <laughs> did I lose you? It's your bad yeah. pause. Sorry about that. You still hear me? Yeah. Well, I don't know what happened. I think whenever you do something else on your computer, it freezes up. Yeah. Am I freezing right now? No. Okay. So essentially, everything is available for free starting last Friday, April 3rd. Um, before you make plans to binge watch Game of Thrones, here's what will and won't be available. So blah, 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 blah. Basically, you don't need to plan on watching Game of Thrones or Westworld because those aren't on there, of course. They're most popular stuff. But pretty much everything else is. A bunch of random movies that I'm not going to name. Ballers, Barry, Silicon Valley, Six Feet Under, The Sopranos, True Blood, and Veep, and The Wire are some of the shows. You guys ever watch True Blood? Hmm? You ever watch True Blood? No, I haven't. Apparently, it's really good. My sister was like obsessed with that show when I was out. Coronavirus update. My father just texted me and said, starting tomorrow, everyone's required to wear a mask at work. Word. Did not know that. Are they providing oh, one to you? Yes. Because I don't know where to get one otherwise. You should walk in with a red bandana on your face. <laughs> I have a blue bandana I could wear. Represent um, the so crib. Yeah. crib. A bunch of, uh, yeah, a bunch of all uh, these things are available. So that gives me the chance. And Zach, Zach, you resubscribed anyway, didn't you? I did. So I'm going to start some of these shows that I need to watch, like The Outsider, if that's on there. I don't know if I read it just now, but... I'm sure, it'll, I'm sure it'll be on there. Um, so a tiger at the Bronx Zoo tests positive for the coronavirus. A tiger. Not a human, a tiger. Well, an animal, right? No. Nadia, a tiger. I almost can get it. Uh, can you guys hear me still? Zach's frozen. That's okay. Zach, you poo. You can hear me, Zach? Yep. Yeah, okay, he smiled. Uh, Nadia, a tiger at the Bronx Zoo, New York, has been the first of her kind to test positive. Uh, the four-year-old female tested positive after developing a dry cough and is expected to recover very soon. Samples from Nadia were taken and tested after the tiger and five other tigers and lions at the zoo began showing symptoms. No other animals are showing symptoms at this time. Uh, it is not known how this disease will develop in big cats because different species can react differently to these infections. How ironic. A cat anyone, has it now. Anyone sick with the coronavirus is being advised to minimize contact with animals, including their own pets, until no more is known about the virus, says the USDA. So there we go. There we go. Okay. Thanks for the update. You're welcome. 
The producers of The Office are creating a work from home comedy series. That's kind of cool. I'm, I'm about it. I'm interested to see what it's like. Yeah. I am too. Are the are any of the cast going to be in it? I mean, I saw what's his name. Um, Toby is one of. Uh, oh. But like, will Jim be in it? Will Steve know. probably not. So, Ben Ben Sil Ben Silverman and Paul Lieberstein, two of the executive producers of The Office, are reportedly working on this, a remote workplace comedy series. Paul Lieberstein is, of course, the guy who plays Toby. Um, yeah, no casting is uh, is announced yet. So I'm down for it. It's only a matter of time before they start making movies and stuff about this shit. They've got to. And they will. they got to capitalize on it. Yep. That's just how Have you I seen a... John Krasinski's new YouTube channel. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, some good cool. news. Yeah. Well, some good news. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's really cool. Um, golf schedule 2020. The Masters were they have been moved to November. That's at least where they're being targeted. November 12th through the 15th. There you go. Right at There's the end of college football season. But it's um, the SEC, it's like all of their homecoming games that weekend. <laughs> Rip. If. Yeah, they were, they were talking about that today on the radio, and they were saying how CBS could just rack in the dough that day because they're going to show the Masters all day long, and yep. then right after the Masters is over is SEC football. Yeah. Well, I think the only like game I saw was a kid like that's SEC versus SEC is like Kentucky Mississippi State or something like that. Everyone else is playing like UMass and like Temple, well, Georgia, Georgia and Tennessee, and then I think they said Georgia, South Carolina and LSU. Yeah, I didn't know it was Georgia Tennessee. Mm -hmm. Auburn is playing UMass, so <laughs> yeah, there you go. homecoming get week. So there you go. There's the quickies. Um, let's do this bracket. Minutes. Yeah, it did. Yeah. Let's do this bracket. All right. So we're rocking out with the best comedies. It looks like basically the last like 20, 30 years. Yeah. Um, which is dope. So this was found on Reddit. Uh, shouts to Reddit. Excuse me. This white claw's kicking in. What are you drinking, Zach? Not sponsored, by the way. Water. <laughs> Very nice. I drank Very water nice. last night. All right, so 64 team, a single elimination. We're going to be putting the best comedies back to back. Uh, there are three of us, so each, uh, each movie will get two votes to proceed to the next round. Um, Thankful that there's three of us because that worked perfectly. So we'll just start out the first couple and you'll get the idea after we do like the first two of how this works. So at the first slot, we got super bad and heavyweights. I can't say that I've seen super, or sorry, I've seen super bad. Sorry. You haven't seen heavyweights for a second. I haven't seen heavyweights. With Ben Dude, Stiller? Heavyweights is Heavyweights is funny. Classic. Okay, well, I'm glad at least well, two of us have seen it. I'll mail you the DVD, um, and you can watch <laughs> it, and then just send it, send it back whenever. Just include it in my next Primo's order. <laughs> there you which, go. by the way, was good. Thank my you. My dad is very picky with his pizza, and yeah. he takes like three bites, and he's like, that's good pizza. And I was like, they also got wings, garlic knots. Salad. They got the whole shebang. When I showed oh, up, I was like, how am I supposed to carry all this shit by myself? <laughs> but, um, I'm glad you guys liked it. Yeah, we, they, they really liked it. So, shouts to Primo's. Um, hey, I'm going to put in an order tomorrow for lunch. We, we open at four. Never mind. <laughs> Sorry. It's, it's all good. It is scale the hours for yeah. the times right now. Wow. I understand. Um, yeah. 
Okay, so we got super bad and heavyweights. I haven't seen heavyweights, so my vote goes to super bad. Um, That's a tough, tough. one. Uh, Wait, so who's who's going to be the tiebreaker on all these? It, whichever one of you votes last. We so have Zach, to- if you like want your vote to be out, you'd be like heavyweights, and that would leave it up to Pearson. So it's kind of a game. So there's no specific order. I'm voting uh, for super bad because I haven't seen it. I'm going to go with super bad, honestly. So there you go. Without any competition, super bad moves on. All right. (laughs) I was was probably going to say super bad too, but heavyweights is pretty funny. It is. Word. I'm going to have to check it out. Those Those are two different style of comedies. Yeah. Like super bad's a raunchy comedy and like heavyweights is – like family Ben comedy. Stiller comedy. No, you just can't do due to lack of morale. <laughs> Let's see how this view looks. How do you guys like that? This is better. I like, like that, that better. better? Okay, so, yeah. cool. I'm not scared yeah, of more room. Room now. Okay, cool. Next up, we got Super Troopers and Starsky and So Hutch. much more room for activities. Yes. Uh, uh, Bali's Emporium, Wacky Waving, and two inflatable tube men. My vote here goes Super Troopers. Yeah, Super Troopers all day. I don't really like Star Trek. Oh, yeah. Trek Hutch. I didn't like that movie either. So Super Troopers. Okay. Alrighty. Then we got The Interview and Monty Python. Monty Python. Yeah. Classic. Okay. Monty Python. The interview is not even that funny. Uh, no, it's not. I, mean, I think it had its moments, but for the most like, part, no. They just it's like it's so over the top. Yeah. This is the first um this one's tough. really tough this one for me. Tough, bro. The other guys and American Pie. Oh, oh. I would put the other guys. That's Honestly, me. man. I'm going American Pie. I'm gonna say American Pie too. All right. Yeah. I love the other guys. It might be one of the most quotable comedies. It, in the last, it is. Like, that's why. That's why I voted for it. It's like I know. Like well, I just thought of so many quotes off the top of my head right then. I mean, American Pie was such like a classic. Like it was a game changer for the times. Mm-hmm. That's very it's iconic. Like, Launchy comedies. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, this is easy. Um, Pineapple Express and basketball. Pineapple, uh, Pineapple Express. Express. Yeah. Next up, so, Animal House shows. and Austin Powers. Yeah, I think uh, uh, I think Pineapple Express. Uh, sorry, Animal House and Austin Powers. I think Animal House for me. I think Animal House. Yeah. Haven't seen Austin Powers. That's on my list. It's groovy, but, baby. What? I've seen I've seen the Fat Bastard, but I haven't seen the original one. I I've only seen the original one. I've seen the Fat Bastard one. Uh. Animal Ooh. moves on. Talladega Nights and Airplane. Talladega Nights, baby. I think I'm going Talladega as well. Yeah. I, I haven't seen Airplane, so Talladega Nights. Airplane's funny, but like, I don't know, Talladega Nights classic. I'll wake up in the morning and not be frozen. This one's tough, but you guys know my answer for here. Dumb and Dumber and Tommy Boy. I'm going Dumb and Dumber. Dumb and Dumber all day. I love Tommy Boy. Tommy Boy's a really good movie. I mean... It's a, it's a funny movie. Huh? Zach. Zach, dude. Where's your freaking Wi-Fi? So it keeps freezing. You keep freezing for us. Where's we'll your Wi-Fi, bro? bro. <laughs> um, all right. What are the next? So who, who won that play? one? Dumb and Dumber. That one. Dumb and Dumber. Wedding Crashers and Joe Dirt. Wedding Crashers. Joe Dirt. That's my vote. Mm. I've seen Joe Dirt like 65 times. I have it on DVD if anyone wants it. Joe Dirt's funny. Wedding Crashers is iconic. I mean, Joe Dirt isn't not iconic. But. I'm saying Wedding Crashers. You gotta leave it up to me. The clock's ticking down. Time to see if you make a buzzer beater or not. Five, four. Honestly, I'm going Wedding Crashers. You all right? Because Vince Vaughn and Owen Wilson, right? Yeah. 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 Th- those two together. Oh, uh, great movie. Oh, show. This one isn't hard for me. 
Caddyshack and Walk Hard. My vote's Caddyshack. Zach? Are we thinking or are we frozen? No, I'm, I'm thinking. Oh, <laughs> I was waiting on Logan. I, uh, I'm going Caddyshack. Well, it's Caddyshack. Yeah, would, would you, you have said Walk Hard? Walk Hard? No, I wasn't. Oh, okay. Uh, I honestly didn't think that movie was that funny. It wasn't that funny. Here we go. I don't, I don't think John C. Riley is that funny. Unpopular opinion. He's okay. He's like, yeah, he's okay. But like, if well, he's a guy himself, he doesn't have Will Ferrell with him. I don't think he's that funny. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, Pearson, I'm going to have to plug mine up here soon, too. <laughs> I should have plugged it in in advance, but whatever. Damn. Some Sandler flicks. I love you, man, and Waterboy. 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 Yeah. Love you, man, pretty good. Yeah, I liked I love you, man. That's with uh, – isn't Jim Carrey? <clears throat> I thought maybe that was Kevin James. Yeah, that was yes, man. Yes, yes, man, I think. <clears throat> this one isn't hard for me either. Wayne's World and This is the End. Wayne's World for me. Really, I'm going. This is the end. No, really, I didn't really, I didn't really like this. The end, to be honest. Zach. I don't know a lot of people like it. And like yeah, Wayne's World. There's like tons of memes and shit. And there goes Zach. And there goes Zach. <laughs> Mono e Wayne. Really, I can't believe you guys went Wayne's World. I, I don't know. To me about this is the end, it was like too over the top for me. Sometimes mm -hmm. like comedies are like too raunchy. I don't. It just kind of like turns me off, so to speak. Welcome back, Zach. Now Zach's on bottom. Hey, I got kicked out. <laughs> Zach, mm. you're on bottom. <laughs> Big guy, Zach on top, baby. Oh, God. I like that. <laughs> I love that. Tropic Thunder and Grandma's Boy. This is a pretty hard one, actually. For me, at least. I really like I'm going, it. I'm going Tropic Thunder. Yeah. Wait, what was Grandma's Boy? Remember, um, he was a video game developer. And he was develop developing a video game and then against some other dude. It's really the premise of the, sh the movie. He lives with his grandma. I don't. They get her high one time. I don't know. Oh, uh, yeah. The guy, okay. the robot, he's like, JP would like that. Yeah. Remember uh, yeah. Tropic Thunder. Yeah, Tropic Thunder. You just guys, the dude. I'm just a dude playing the dude. You guys, is another dude. <laughs> Robert Robert Downey Jr. did blackface before it was he, bad. Yeah, um, he, he was great. Yeah, forgetting Sarah Marshall and Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. Ace Ventura. Sarah Marshall. Is a movie, that's a classic. Son of a bitch, dude! My Siri keeps getting triggered for some reason. I don't know why. Um, Forty-year-old virgin and Meet the Parents. This oh, is that's tough. A good one too. This is a good one. Mm. I really like Meet the Parents, but Forty Year Old Virgin is Forty Year Old Virgin is really funny. Oh, this, this Meet the Parents this is the original one. Yes, yeah. not the Fockers. Yeah, yeah. I don't even think I've seen Meet the Fockers. Meet the Fockers is really funny, dude. Huh. It is. Yeah, it's yeah, it's it's a really good like they did a really good job remaking that one. That one that has been still in it. The Meet the Fockers. Mm -hmm. What are we doing? I think I'm going Meet the Parents. I said four year old uh, virgin. Yeah. What'd you say, Zach? Ooh. Zach said, said four year old, year old virgin. virgin. Before he, he said it second. So I'm just meet the parents. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, this is a tough one. It's the one. hangover it's and the elf. Tough one. I say it's elf. Tough. This, that one is hard. Yeah. I say L just because like I've watched it way more times than I've watched The Hangover. Yeah. Granted, it also is a Christmas movie, and that's part of the reason I've watched it so many more times. Yeah. It's forced so, upon you. Exactly. So it's almost it's almost skewed. I don't know what to do, Zach. I'm waiting on you. It's not <laughs> I'm just going to hit it with a hangover. Let you decide. Waiting on you. <laughs> I'm going hangover. So you got to choose. Oh, man. 
I'm going to say Elf. Okay. It's probably the worthy one anyway. Yep. That the Hangover tough. is all people talked about for like a solid year in terms yeah. of comedy, but Elf is something that people have talked about for as long as it's come out. Real quick, pause, just for a second. Mm -hmm. um, some dude commented on our um, our video or our post or whatever, said greetings from the other side of the world. It's a picture on his profile. <laughs> <I'm fucked. laughs> <laughs> I'm kind of scared. <laughs> what? Um, Step Brothers or Get Him brother? to the Greek. Get yeah. Him to the Greek was actually really funny. It was funny. But Step Brothers is all time. But Step Brothers is all timer. What? Oh, yeah. We got Blades of Glory versus The Big Lebowski. That one's pretty tough. Um, I feel like the big Lebowski gets this one. Yeah, Blades of Glory is funny. Like cult, it's like a cult classic comedy. Yeah, Blades of Glory is I, funny, but it doesn't stand the test of time. True. Mm -hmm. Lebowski. Yep. Hall Pass and Role Models. This, this one's tough. hard because both of those like weren't that good. Yeah, I know. <laughs> yeah, yeah, this is like the winner. This is like. These are the last. Yes, yeah, this, this is an 18 seed versus the 47. Right. <laughs> I, think, I, think, I think role models gets it for me. Role models for me, yeah. Yeah. Who's the number one seed in this shit? That's a good question. Super bad. Oh, was it? Oh, yeah. Once it yeah, 64, and then so super bad and step brothers. Step brothers. Dodgeball and Harold and Kumar. I think this one, dodgeball. this one's easy for me. It's dodgeball. Damn. Dodgeball, yeah. Damn, dude, they gave Wedding Crashers a four seed. They must have done really well, like in their conference tournament or something. <laughs> <laughs> that's 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 alarmingly high for me. Yeah. <laughs> this one I think is pretty easy. Bad Santa versus School of Rock. Wow, this School one of Rock. I didn't like Bad Santa. I didn't I either, remember. honestly. It's another one of those when you uh when you left that uh abruptly, I was telling Logan, like certain comedies are like too over the top raunchy for me, and it's like a total yeah. turn off. Bad Santa's one of those. Um, I didn't leave, I got kicked out. Whatever, dude. Well, All we saw was you exiting the show. So But guess who came right back to the show? Yeah. This guy. <laughs> this one hard. On Bob. Billy Madison is not baked. Uh, uh, Billy Madison. Yeah, yeah, Billy Madison for me. I also didn't think half baked was funny. It's 42 seed. That's it. They put Billy Madison a 23 seed. I'm glad the uh, other movie that I was hoping is in this chart is was higher than Billy Madison, and it is, and we'll get there soon. Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Versus horrible bosses. Both are really I funny. Not, I have not. There you go. <laughs> Zach, what? So, I'm going to say horrible bosses. What? what? You haven't seen what? A horrible. Oh. No, I what haven't seen. What? What's going on? <laughs> I'm trying to figure out what Pearson wants to wants to say. Horrible bosses. Okay. No, I was saying I haven't seen Fast Times at Ridgemont High. Oh. It's been a long time since I've yeah, seen it. Right I've seen a lot more. This one's hard right here. Zoolander and Hot Rod. This is easy for me because I hate Zoolander. Really? What? I don't hate it. It's I like I like Zoolander. It's just unfunny to me. It's yeah, it's like, that's not funny to me. Blue it's Steel. Like, it's like super, super stupid comedy. Yeah, so, oh yeah. So is Hot Rod though. <laughs> cool bean. Cool bean. Bean. Cool bean. I'm gonna go Hot Rod. You look pretty, huh? I said you look really shitty. Good night, Denise. 
<laughs> you can't you can't like to party if I like to party. <laughs> I'm gonna say Andy Samberg is just funny as hell. Hot Rod's I was gonna say Zoolander, play. but I got outvoted. Wow, you hate seeing that. Hot Rods, they're the Dude, butler of this bracket right here. Triggering. Chop. Um, Happy Gilmore versus Due Date. This is a no brainer. Yeah, easy. Yeah. Due date. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, Anchorman versus Knocked Up. That one's kind of hard. I think. I think I'm going Anchorman. Yeah, Anchorman. Knocked Up was still funny, though. Is yeah, Knocked Up is really funny. That's Seth Rogen, too, right? Yeah. yeah. Okay. And Catherine Borat. Heigl. Yes. Yes. Borat versus Dazed and Confused. Man. Uh, very nice. <laughs> I don't think Borat is really a... Comedy. Borat? No, Dazed and Confused. Oh, I don't know. Also, shouts to Jordan. There's his daily episode shout out. What up, Jordan? I just saw him walking, which means he probably went to uh, go exercise. Mm -hmm. Enjoy your exercise, Jordan. <laughs> um, um, I say Borat. I don't yeah, I say Borat for this too. Your days and confused. Definitely. Every time I hear somebody say my wife, I'm like, my wife. <laughs> Great success. <laughs> What's up, vanilla face? All themes, no. <laughs> Every time somebody says very nice, I say, how much? <laughs> uh, something about Mary and neighbors. I'm going neighbors. Neighbors. Yeah. Napoleon Dynamite. Versus Night at Roxbury. Ooh, Night at the Roxbury is pretty funny. I haven't seen it. It's, it's pretty. A, funny. It's a classic Will Ferrell movie. Okay, I'll have to check it out. I'm going. Uh, I'm going Napoleon. I'm going Napoleon. Yeah. Fucking e. That that movie changed the game when it came out. It okay. did. Oh yeah. All righty, 21 Jump Street and Ted. This is tough, man. Oh, yeah. This is really hard. Ted is so quotable. It is. For me, at least. But so is 21 Jump yeah. Street. This is really hard. I don't know what to do. I say my vote's 21. <sighs> Fuck. This is such a good matchup that I'm going Ted. Zach, you have to choose. Buzzer B. This, this is a tough matchup. Five, four, three, two, one. 21. Mm. I'm yeah. happy you chose 21. Good choice. Huh. Um, Blazing oh, Saddle and Semi Pro. This one's hard, too. I'm going oh. Blazing Saddles. My, definitely. Ooh. Semi Pro is still really funny. I just watched that movie the other day, but Blazing Saddles is hilarious. Finally, the last matchup for the day, for the week Old School versus Office Space. Both very funny. Yeah. This is tough, man. I think I'm going Office Space, though. I'm going to get my vote out of the way. Oh, Snack, you got to decide. Oh. oh, okay. But succeed old school advances. All right. That's the first week of comedy elimination. We will do the next round next week. We got the some really tough matchups. Is down. We got some tough matchups here. Yeah, there really, really are some yeah. tough matchups. Like, just looking at them, like, I'm scared. I'm going to have to make some tough calls next week. We all are. So let's move on. Cinderella story. But let's move on. Shall we? Um, when we get to, like, maybe the third round, we can do, like, the third and second round, like, together since they're a mm -hmm. lot smaller. Yeah. Yeah. I'm game. All right, bet. Let's talk some TV real quick before we talk about Ozark and Dave. 
Amazing Stories Season 1 has concluded on Apple TV+. Plus, and I was just going to tell you that it's cool. Uh, and if you have Apple TV+, Plus, it's only five episodes. Each one is a different story surrounding different characters and a different storyline uh, produced by Steven Spielberg. And that's fine. It's not amazing. Don't rush out to watch it. Don't get the service just to watch it. But it's cool. So I'd give it probably a two out of five. It's fine. Don't rush I'm out. Not, yeah, I'm not going to watch it. Yeah, you don't need to. There's nothing about it that's like, oh, my God, you got to watch this now. It's, it's cool. That's it. Cool. All, All right. right. Ozark, season three, Pearson. What the Zach, what, Zach, do you have yeah. any intention? I mean, yeah, I, I'll watch it just because I have more time on my hands now. So Okay, then I don't want to spoil it. So, Pearson, mild spoilers. What did you think? Well, yeah. what the hell? That's what I think. That's what I I'll think. Leave. <laughs> I'll leave and you can talk about it and then just text me and then I'll join back in. Okay. Wait. Will you go back and listen to the episode? You just skip past it. Yeah. Oh, that's true. Okay. See ya. All right. Bye. 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 <laughs> All right, Pearson. What the fuck? Oh, my God, dude. Okay. Did not expect <laughs> that last scene. I did no. not expect um, Homegirl to die. I rewound that scene like five times and watched yeah. it over again. It has been a minute. Since I have been left, like after the end of a show, like a like episode, or whatever, and like I literally, like I uncontrollably, I was like, "What the fuck?" Like I was like, "Oh!" When it happened, like I gasped because I, 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 I didn't expect it. I I one hundred percent thought Marty and them were going to be they were going to be like like pris imprisoned or killed. Yep. Um. Yeah. No, dude. Season three was dope. It was yeah. really, really good. They did a great job with it, especially picking up after season two, because season two was not very good, in my opinion. Agreed. Season so, two was very lackluster, so this yeah. season definitely made up for it. Honestly, it like, I've talked to talk about it. it. This is probably one of the best seasons of TV I've seen in a while. It really was, dude. It was just, it was just boom, 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 boom. Like it, Everything was happening. Like Every single episode, something cool was happening. Yeah. Um, yeah, no, it was like it was a really, really good season. It was definitely worth the wait. Um, I'm interested to see what um, what's his name shot at or whatever. Uh, remember the kid at the right before oh. the scene? Remember he turned around and shot his gun. Oh, I hadn't even thought about that yet. Yeah, so I'm interested to see what that was about. Um, Caitlin was like, he shot his sister. Like right when it happened, I was like, I don't think so, but I don't know because he was like. He was like on edge, like when they left. So, oh, that's a good point. Yeah. I thought he was gonna get her right then. I thought he was gonna blow her brains out. Oh, and, um, what's her name? At when he went to her house. Mm -hmm. I thought I he was gonna kill her. I could see that. Uh, um, Jonah. Jonah, that's the name. But uh, I yeah, I hated Jonah this season. I kind of hated the kids in the season in general. Yeah. Well, so what I saw when I was watching this this uh, season. And uh, it made me think about season two and what really, if you think about it, in my opinion, this show is kind of, uh, Wendy is kind of the star of the show. Now I feel like the show is focused on her. Um, <laughs> Marty's like, yeah, Marty's doing like sketchy shit, but like he, at the end of the day, I think Marty is like, he's trying to do it as honest as possible and get a way out. And like, Wendy's like, She's in it, and she's pushing more and more in it to, you know, push her political stance and all that. So I think – I really think that Wendy's kind of the main star of the show now, in my opinion. Yeah. Do you hear that noise? No. I heard that. I think it was you leaning. Yeah. It honestly might be my air conditioning. I think it's a bug outside. No, I can't hear it. It's so loud. Wow. Um, yeah, dude, that was an electric season. I um, I urge to anybody that was on the fence about season two. It's just like Stranger Things, man. Season two, eh, but yeah. season three just came back strong. Spiked my attention back in it. 
it makes me so upset that I have to wait a whole nother or that we have to wait a whole nother year. Yeah. So, I can do without the Wyatt um grandma sex scene, but yeah. <laughs> Twenty year old and uh I, was, uh I didn't see that one. Up in cheeks. Did not see that coming. No. But as soon as he started staying with her, I was like, Oh god. Yeah. Please no. She well when she was like washing her hair his hair, I was like, uh, this is a little it's a little yep. touchy for uh, the situation. So mm -hmm. what did you yeah. think of Ben? Of who? Uh the brother, Ben. Oh dude, dude's a major doucher, man. He pisses me off. Yeah, but dude, the scene where he finds out he's being sent to the hospital. Oh, like, I he's, like, screaming in the cell. I was like, dude, there's this is some good acting. Like, yeah, no, he's he was a great actor. He was like yeah. he was really good because you you he made you like hate him, love him, but like at the same time, like want to strangle him because it's like because he was caught, like he kept going to get a phone. He kept doing like he kept messing with her plan to keep him safe, and like oh my god, that whole like road trip, like all that whole like sequence of scenes. Like I wanted to strangle him through the TV every single time. Mm -hmm. just wouldn't listen. Just wouldn't listen. That's how you know he did a really good job playing that character. Yeah, yeah, he did a really um, good job. Um, is he in anything else or? Um, he's actually in Iron. Uh, he's in Iron Fist season two, I think. Oh. Uh, because I thought the same thing. I was like, I've seen this dude somewhere before, but. Um, yeah, I think he's in, if not Iron Fist, no, it is Iron Fist. It's actually that's season one, Iron Fist season one. Um, but that's it. Like, he was really good. Yeah, he was. But, yeah, uh, I'll go ahead and give Zach a text in case you, or unless you have something else you want to say about it. No, I really liked it. I'm excited for season four. It'll probably be three years before it comes out, but I'm excited for it. <laughs> mm hmm I'm back, Zach. Um, I just got a text from someone. Or was that you? That was about it. Was yeah, you just got my text? Um, yeah. So, God, yeah, I, I couldn't stop, like watching. Yeah, no, I literally couldn't. It, like we, we binged it, and that's part of the reason I didn't watch episode six of Dave because I can believe mm. that the Dave even came on because I was so hooked on. Uh, Ozark. But, That's um, totally okay. Yeah. So, episode six of day was eh. We'll, we'll get to it when Zach's, Zach gets in here. Oh, there he is. Hey, Zach, welcome back. Hey, Zach, welcome back. Hello. Hey. Hi. Do you want to talk about Dave, Zach? Did you watch it? Yeah, it was fine. Yeah. That's what I was just. Uh, I mean, it was I nothing agree. special. I heard you. You didn't even watch it. No, I was, dude. I was balls deep in Ozarks, man. I couldn't. I even. I forgot that shit even came out. It was. It's kind of like two weeks ago when it had the serious stuff about Gata. It's not super yeah. serious this episode, but it kind of like, you know, the other friend, like the, like the producer friend. Yeah. Like Talk it kind of dives into his, like, kind of what he's thinking throughout this whole like Dave getting famous thing. It's cool. I mean, yeah, it, it was just another filler for me. I, I didn't really. There's been a couple of these fillers lately. I mean, they're they're all solid episodes, and they're all funny in their own way. But like, yeah, there's just a few fillers, and this was just another filler for me. Yeah, that dude's funny though. I mean, it. Dicky, the the producer guy. Oh yeah, yeah, dude, he's hilarious. The Odd Future had a show that came Adult Swim for a brief time called Loiter Squad. Yeah. It was so funny, and he was part of our Odd Future, and he's really funny. Just tidbit. Let's let's fire this thing off with some music, or actually, since we're on TV, why not just talk about what are you guys watching currently? Are you watching anything new? Um, Pearson, you want to start? Uh, I'm still working on Tiger King. I think we're like halfway. I think I'm on episode five. Um, just finished Ozark. Um, that's about it. I guess watch Dave. Um, I don't know. We've been watching movies and shit. You know, I watched. Uh, what did we watch the other night? I don't remember. 
Yeah, we've just been watching movies and stuff, but I haven't been watching a ton. And there goes Logan. Bye, Logan. All right, welcome to the Zach and Pearson show. Hello, welcome. <laughs> Where are you? Um, what are you watching? Oh, uh, welcome back. Hey, welcome back. <laughs> Hi. What am I watching? Um, I finished Tiger King. It was a very toxic show, but it was hilarious. Yeah. Agreed. Um, I haven't really had time to watch anything else because I'm working a lot of hours. I bet. And... Oh. You guys are getting yeah. crushed, man. <laughs> what? You guys are getting crushed. Yeah. <laughs> Every day. Yeah, dude. It was I went when I went there today to get um stain. It was ridiculous. All yeah, these people doing their at home projects now that they're all stuck at home. Nothing else to do. Yeah. So Home Depot and like Lowe's are yeah, they're essential purchases. <laughs> hey, that, that I mean, I, I made some essential purchases. I don't go crazy. Mm -hmm. I had to print a letter today from Holder because I'm gonna go to Bridgeport, Alabama on Thursday for essential work travel yeah and um i had to print a letter that basically says like i'm allowed to do that in case yeah. i get pulled over or something that's why i had to print yeah. for all the employees at primos for deliveries and like going to and from work or whatever mm -hmm. so i'm just going to keep it in my glove box and for the possibility that i get pulled over which i mean it, it might be maybe like going to the grocery store like a couple miles up the road might not be a problem but me driving cross state lines you know, that for your fro and like on an open highway when there's going to be very little people out. Yeah. There's a chance I'll get pulled over. Yeah. But I mean, I have a letter. And if they tell me to go home, even though I've got the letter, then I'm going home. I ain't going to fight it. No, well, they can't tell you to go home if you have that. Oh, really? Yeah. The letter, the letter, you're good. Cool. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm watching. Um, Currently hooked on Shit's Creek, man. Dude, it's good, dude. It's it cool. is so good, and it's not even like super like laugh out loud funny. It's like it's just it's as good. These, it's these people, these people are just so insufferable. I know, and it's, that's it's, what makes you love it. And that's why, like, towards the end of season one, like the actual plot develops, and yep. it kind of like, that's that's when it gets right. It's like. Oh wow, this like actually has a story to it, and it's like entertaining to watch too. So yeah, once like the end of season one, it like on it gets really good. Man, I did absolutely nothing yesterday. I literally laid in bed all day to where like when I actually tried to fall asleep last night, I had like bed sores. Like my body was aching because my body hurt so bad from just laying around. Um, and I binged through season. I finished season two. In a day. Then again, they're only twenty minute episodes. Yeah, so you can literally really fire through them. Um yeah, man, I love it. I'm about to start season three tonight. Uh it's it's awesome. I doubted you guys when you and Emily were first trying to get me hooked on it. And I was like, Yeah, I just can't get into it. Man, towards the middle to the end of season one, like you said, stuff actually begins to form a storyline. Oh, and season two just pushes that storyline further, and you're like, like I'm I'm hooked on this stupid ass show. <laughs> I think it's like you can't stop watching. It's funny. No, I can't stop watching it. Um, it gets better too. So, so that's what I've I've got. I've got other shows on my list like Narcos. I'm gonna watch Narcos. You gotta finish Narcos. I love like um, four episodes left. That's what that's what I'm watching. I'm gonna watch that and Narcos Mexico back to back. I think, yeah. and just get a, a big dose of. Hispanic TV, <laughs> but I didn't, and then we'll watch whatever movie poster stuff comes up. Um, I didn't, I just never got the chance to. And when you guys said you didn't get the chance to either, then I didn't feel the need to rush out and try to watch something. So yeah. we will pick that up whenever. There's no, we don't have a due date. We don't have to turn it in. Cool. Let's hit some music and let's get out of here. We forgot to talk about it the week it came out. I forgot to talk about it last week. This week, we'll talk about Benji's new song. 
What do you guys think of it? Well, it was one that, the one that just came out? The one that came out like two weeks ago. Did another one come out last week? Yeah, Friday. Another one came out? Yeah. Holy hell. I'm sorry, Ben. <laughs> <laughs> the um, the most recent one that came out is it's uh, In My Dreams. Is honestly. Holy shit. I didn't even realize it came out. The song that Ben's done. It's the best song? It's my favorite. Over Double Tap? Yeah. No, it's it's. I don't know. For me, I feel like it's his most complete song, like, like artist production, like everything. I feel like he, uh, I feel like it was, it's definitely my favorite. Wow. Ben, or Zach, did you know this other song came out? I did not know. I was talking about perfect place. That one's good too. I mean, I like that one too. Um, mm -hmm. but, uh, you know, in my dreams, y'all should definitely listen to it. It's really, yeah. Cool. I'll give in my dreams a listen right after this. Yeah, I thought Album you were talking band. about the uh, Tiger King remix. <laughs> now that's oh, well, hilarious. That's fire. That's, that's good. hilarious. Album artwork, Ben. Probably could have done a little better on this one. Which one? <laughs> in my dreams, it just says like in my it. dreams. I like I mean, it. It's cool, but it's yeah. probably make, it took them probably five minutes to make. Yeah, but that one's really <laughs> whatever. Cool. Roast me, Ben. I'm not the one making music and making hits. Um, yeah, I'm excited to listen to it now. Damn, I didn't, I didn't, I, I saw his post that said a new, um, a new song was going to drop basically every week in April. So, damn, I guess I completely spaced it. But cool. How about, um, how about Find My Way by the baby? Did you guys watch the music video for it too? I didn't watch the music video. I didn't know there was one. The music video, in my opinion, makes the song better. Um, it's all right. Like, I didn't download it or anything. I mean, he's obviously like, he's trying to uh, expand his horizon and you know expand his flow and whatnot. It sounds like he really has taken those comments personally. Um, mm -hmm. It's all right. Like, it's it's cool. It doesn't suck. It's not great. It's just all right. I mean. Yep. For the amount of it didn't really get any publicity, like he had no promotion for it or anything. And I think it was I, I don't know. I feel like it was just it wasn't hyped up or anything, so it wasn't disappointing. Um so, I mean it was cool. Whatever. Zach, did you lose power? Oh, there you go. <laughs> what? <laughs> you got real dark for a second. Mm hmm. No. No, I'm here. Cool. Um, how about Tycoon? Yeah, I didn't really care for uh, the new the baby song. Yeah, it was fine. Yeah, it's not going to be rotating in any of my playlists or anything. Nah, nah. Tycoon by Future. I like this one. I did too. It was sketchy. Yeah, I mean, I like I like R and B yeah. Future. Yeah, R&B Future's great. Future Hendrix is great. I went back and listened to Hendrix. That song with Rihanna, dude. That song was slaps, bro. Selfish. My Collection's good. Um, I love all of them. That was one of my favorite Future albums. Hendrix is Hendrix is, really, is one of his best albums. M-I-O. I-M-O. I agree. I, I love that album. And this song reminded me of it, so I, I like it. Please, re please release another R&B album, Future, please. I'm here for it. Did you like it, Zach? Yeah, I, mean, I did. Um, I mean, it wasn't like a, a banger or anything, but no. I, I still liked it. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'll have this one. Who, uh, I, I downloaded this one. Who do you guys think is going to come out of quarantine with like an absolute smash hit like summer banger you have it on repeat all the time honestly i think we got it last week with what with uh the two c slide uh i love i love this song i like it too it's super absolutely catchy. love it it's catchy i mean oh yeah it, it's fun really really catchy I don't know if that's the, but I, I, don't, I don't think that's the summer hit though. 
I don't know. No. I don't know if it'll be like the like the one dance. It's of not gonna be, like, gonna be like hotline bling. No, no. But I think I, it's got potential. I think he, he probably made this song the same time he did like in my feelings. Like when that whole challenge was going on and then yeah. he made this song just so like people could dance to it and yeah. make TikToks to it. And people are so, dancing and making TikToks to it. Oh yeah. And I saw one the other day where somebody did the two C slide challenge along with the In My Feelings challenge where they were like ghost riding. Oh yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Um who's gonna come out of this though? You're talking like a like a single or an album. Either. I think I think Kendrick's about to put out the next like hot album. Um I, yeah, I could see that. It's going to be Kendrick or Drake. I mean, it, whoever goes out first. I feel like they both are kind of waiting and watching the other the other one. Um, I watched this interview. I think it was Joe Budden, and um, he was talking about like the Drake and Kendrick like silent beef like throughout the decade of like who's like number one basically. And um, I don't know. He was talking about how they're they're like. He thinks they're watching each other, waiting to see who, which one drops first, and then so the other one can drop. So I don't know. Kendrick hasn't put out anything in a long time, not since Damn, or I guess technically since Black Panther. Technically, yeah, but that was more of like a collab mm -hmm. album anyway. But yeah. Um, yeah, no, I think I think I think K Dot is going to have the next uh, the next banger to come he out. He just needs to come out of nowhere like Gambino did. And just drop something, that and it'd be a smash. I mean, that's I think that's how it came, dude, with DNA. Yeah, yeah. that's exactly what happened. The music video for it, and it was like it was like a super weird, like it it paralleled a lot with how the, uh, this America did. But yeah. Um, yeah, I mean, that's that's how he did. So I, I wouldn't be surprised. He's got he had to be working. So and I think if anything, next. people being told to stay at home and trapped inside. All of these artists are working. Yeah. Yeah. Tory Lanez oh. with Quarantine Radio. Do you guys watch that? Tory Lanez. <laughs> no. He had a he has like a Instagram live thing or whatever. Wiz Khalifa was there. Other oh, day. Wiz. He was there and Amber Rose uh commented on the Instagram live feed and he she was like, Where's my baby? or whatever. And like Wiz panned over and his kid is just like playing like I don't know, like Nintendo Switch or something. <laughs> <I don't know. laughs> it, was, it was really funny. That's funny. Um, you know, honestly, I could see like Chris Brown coming out with like a huge single out of this. I could see Chris Brown. I could see um, Corey Lance's album's about to come out. Um, he has a lot of like clubby kind of stuff. Um, I've got a prediction. Who? I think at the end of Dave season one, Dickie drops an album. Oh, I, I definitely do. Oh, yeah. So I, I feel like Dickie has a chance to have a summer bop. Hopefully. I don't I know. really I want a new Dickie album, man. I like Dickie, though. It's because mm -hmm. it's not like – Little Dickie's is not, I guess, what everyone wants to hear, even though he's really, really talented. As well, he's, very, um, he's very, like, niche. Yeah, like yeah. Very, that's a good. You have to that. really be a fan of him. Yeah, because a lot of his stuff is like satire rap. Yeah. So, uh, uh, but uh, yeah, no, he's I me mean, super talented. But yeah, we'll see. He had Freaky Friday that came out a few summers ago, and that was a smash hit because of Chris Brown. <laughs> that's the thing, like. If yeah. there was no Chris Brown in that song, it wouldn't have been a hit. Exactly. But that um, yeah, so we'll see. Only time will tell. Um, Drake, did you guys like the 2C slide? Yeah, that was good. I yeah. looked it a couple times ever since. It's it's, yeah. really, it's really catchy. Yeah. I'm going to learn. Dude, I'm gonna be. We'll do it. I love it. I love it. Yeah, and you guys it. know how I am about Drake. Like, uh, if he's a hit or miss for me for the most part. But the second I heard the song, I was like, "Let's go, dude!" Yeah. Like, like, it's catchy. Logan's mm -hmm. a catchy guy. Yeah, I am. You know, it's got a good hook. He's in. Yep. 
But no, it's good. I, I want to learn that song or that dance and mm -hmm. not be stupid when I do it. So that's my goal for corn. <laughs> Make a TikTok. Uh, One of my awesome TikToks. Oh, yeah. Finally, I listened to Sam Hunt's new album today. I'm not a big Sam Hunt guy, but I thoroughly enjoyed the listen. I saw that. Uh, I really can't explain it. They're all... There's a few poppy ones. You guys have heard Body Like a Back Road, right? Yeah. Like he released that a minute ago. And it was like, it, it was a, yeah, it was on this album. Weird. Uh, it was a single at the time, but um, that was a pretty popular song that summer that it came out. It's been a minute since he put that out, though. I forgot that um, one. Uh, I really enjoyed it. Um, I think it's a solid listen. It's not like overdone pop bro country. There's a few songs that definitely reek of bro country. But there's a lot of songs that are slower and more Love meaningful her. and definitely like definitely like love songs to somebody. Yeah. But um yeah, I thought it was a really good listen. I, I kept for the most part pretty much the whole thing. So I listened I, to I liked it. Oh, go ahead. No, that's it. No. I listened to uh Rod Wave. I listened to his album. Yeah. It's pretty good. I've never heard of a guy before. No, I hadn't either. It's like um, it, he sings a lot, so it's like a mix between sing, like singing and rap. So it's like a little it has like some R and B hits, like um, vibes to it. So it was pretty good. I mean, yeah, it's the first time I ever heard of the guy. I saw like other rappers and stuff that were like mentioning him, like the album or whatever. So I was like, okay, I'll look it up. So it's pretty good. If you like that, you might like it. Yeah. Cool. I. Uh... I dig the idea. I saw I saw that he released an album, but I know that for the most part, you've been listening to like a lot of artists that we've all never heard of before. Like you've been reviewing a lot of albums, so I was like, "Oh, Pearson will probably listen to it." So boom, yeah. um, you listen to it, um, and uh, that's it. That's it for episode one hundred and two. I was afraid that the bracket uh, was going to take a minute. But we're still at our normal time, about an hour and 12 minutes. So, haha. Uh, you guys have fun? I was trying to make 102 with my fingers. Did you guys have fun with that? Quarantine pod? Yeah, right? It's hard. It's very hard. Yeah. Well, you know what we could uh, do? Nope. <laughs> what? We could do one. Pearson, you're in the middle for me. Do it. Oh, okay. If only Emily was here to take a screenshot. That would have been the thumbnail. Um, <laughs> uh, follow us on Instagram, the Binge Boys Podcast, Logan Lewis 96, P Killer 56, Zach McConnell. <sighs> follow the Twitter, Binge Boys Podcast. Subscribe to this YouTube channel. Hit the little subscribe button below. Like it, comment on it. <laughs> High five. Like it, comment on High it. Uh, hit the little bell so you know when uh, <laughs> we upload. You guys suck. <laughs> We're so stupid. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, keep in touch with us. Leave a rating, leave hey. a review. Um, oh, okay. So further ado, okay. um, when Zach and Pearson perfect their high five. Uh, we'll catch you next week on episode 103. Max Frozen again. <laughs> and on that note, bye. Bye.